Well, here we are to bless the restored bell tower. The original bell was constructed in 1897, as you would know, many of you. And leading up to this, of course, was an increasing activity going on in this part of the world. I mean, you know what that is, it is was as well, gold. The gold activity. And if I've got my facts right, I think at one stage, there were 30,000 people in this part of the world. So this is uh, an area that, uh, of Queensland that uh, we cannot ignore. This certainly was historically a very important district. It was a growing district and uh, that meant that the Catholic Church needed to be part of that growth and indeed it was. Uh, eventually, under Father Comerford, who was a dynamic priest, they tell us, from Ireland, really got things going. In 1890, he began a building program and in 1893 he began collecting for a new bell tower and bell which were ordered from the London foundry of Burns and Oates at a cost of 210 pounds. And a tower to house the bell which cost 325 pounds in 1897-1898. Well, our bell tower has now been restored and I have to say, what we have is a coming together of the old and new. This uh, is a gift to the community, not just for us Catholics. This is a gift to the community and uh, it uh, is going to be with us, as the Mayor said a moment ago to me, long after uh, he and I are gone anyway. Um, and uh, that is true. You know, this bell and tower as has been alluded to a moment ago in my introductory words, is surely the voice of God in the district because it rings out, it makes a noise. It's the voice of God calling out and it's heard throughout the community. It's a voice that summons Christians to worship. It's a voice that must be heard today. I encourage this parish to ring the bell often, as long as you're not breaking any local laws. There might be certain times you can't ring it, but check that out with the mayor. But it seems to me that this bell must be heard. The community wanted it, wanted it restored, so let the community hear it. The voice will say, I'm here, come to me. Jesus speaks. Charters Towers Catholic community and to all who have ears to hear. And he speaks to all people, not just Christians. He is an inclusive presence in our midst, one that welcomes and embraces and accepts people for who they are. He speaks to a, a multicultural community, a multicultural Queensland, a multicultural Australia. Not all are Christian, but Jesus is in there making contribution and the voice of Jesus will be heard because this bell will ring and the people of the district will say, ah, we listen, someone speaking. It comes from the church. Follow me, he says. This bell will assist this community to preach the good news. It will be heard and people will respond in their own way and in their own time. If it's often enough, they might even complain about it. But Jesus doesn't take no for an answer. He doesn't force anything on us, but he invites us into a space that gives us life. So when that bell rings, God and Jesus are speaking to the community and he's saying, I believe in all of you. I love you. You are brothers and sisters. Walk with me and make this community the kind of community that is inclusive and loving. I pray that you will welcome this restored bell tower and bell and that the wider community will welcome it too. Look after it because we cannot afford another one.